In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Neo Geo CD in Batacera. The first thing you should do is go to this website, which uh, shows you how to configure and use Neo Geo CD on Batacera. So you'll need these BIOS files in order to get it to work and you need to put it in the right folders. So um, you need to put Neo Geo CD underscore Z in Neo Geo CD folder in the Neo Geo BIOS folder. So these three files are needed. And this file, you just put it into the BIOS folder. So I'll show you where to get them. You could get Batocera 33 on this URL. I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. You'll need this one as well. Retro RetroArch BIOS. Those two. Here in RetroArch BIOS. I have Neo Geo CD. You just copy everything in here. Going into Batacera, which is here, and just put it all into the BIOS directory like that. Neo CD is here. And you'll need another file called. NeoCDZ.zip. You could get that from this BIOS pack right here. Just show you. Let me go get that file. Here it is. This is the file that you'll need. This file, just put it into the BIOS folder. Whoops, I don't want to compress it. I just want to copy it. Copy to... You know what's better? I'll just... Um, no, I don't want to copy it there. That's not where I want it. I want it here, actually. Like here. Okay, I already put it in there, so... Those are the only files that I need. And now it should just work. And I'll tell you about the formats for the game. It says dot .cue dot, dot .iso and dot .chd. Neo Geo CD. This is where you put the game files. You could use it like this, or you could use it in CHD format, which I'll show you right now. You could use CHD, CHD man to like, uh, Compress the files. You 
Neo Geo CD. So this is a Neo Geo game. Arrow Fighters 2. Comes with all these files. This file I converted to do a CHD file right here. But I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I'm just going to delete that and redo it for this. So you need a program called CHD, CHD Man. You can get that program on archive.org. This is the one that you want. This file here. After you get it. This is a file. And I'm just going to delete that, pretend I never did that. So I'm just going to go into this file and move that in here into this directory. The arrow fighters. And what I want to do now is I want to get all these files and put it into this .bat file. So this guy wrote a simple program which enables you to compress everything into a um, .chd file without typing in any commands. So you could type in commands if you want. I'll show you what's in it. Go to all files, open. So this is what, what is in here. So this guy's just using a for loop and getting everything in this folder and compressing it into a .chd file. So that's what this code is about. But to use it, it's quite simple. Just uh, get everything in like that and put it into the .bet file. This could take several minutes. Showing that it's at 10%. And the file that it's compressed to should be smaller than um, the original file. It does take CPU resources and power to do this. For some games on some um, emulation stations, you have to use um, you have to use .chd file. You can't use it in um, a format like this. This simply would would not work. And after all that's done, you just put that file into your Batisera and it should work. Simple as that. So in Batisera, both formats work, so you don't have to worry about it. But I'm just showing you that you could use a dot chd file if you want to and now it's done so it's compressed into this so i'm going to move that file i'm going to delete that and see what the difference is in terms of file size 693 megabytes. This is 344 megabytes. This is almost half the size. 
So I'm going to move this file. Here. Like so. I'm just going to call it Arrow Fighters. Just get rid of this long name. And that's it. Now I should be able to run these games on Batacera. Okay, now I'm back on Batacera. I'm going to run Neo Geo CD. I'll select this one. If I put all the BIOS files in the right place, it should work. Press the hot button and B and get in here. There's no disk control, okay. You can select the BIOS that you want. Right now, this is selected by default and it seems to work good. This is a Japanese game, so. It selected the Japanese BIOS. one has two files. Only one of them should work. That's working. Good. Let's see what that is actually. Doesn't show anything. Can't switch disks or anything. Okay, let's start.
Seems to run good. Let's try Metal Slug CD, Neo Geo CD. seems to be working fine. You could change the emulator here by going to advanced options. Actually you cannot. This is only emulator. You could change the video mode if you want. I just leave it at default. If you have a very good computer, you can select the highest resolution in video mode if your computer or SBC can handle it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.